He say that I blow his mind every time I'm activated. You just tryna catch a vibe. CC got you fascinated. Jump up on the brand new ride. BMW riding, baby. I ain't gon' tell you lies. That's just how we roll. You know what it is? What it is? How we roll? You know what it is? What it is? That's just how we roll. What it do, Scorpio? What's good? What's good with all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there? Hope everyone in my Scorpio collective is doing well. So let's get into this reading, y'all, and see what it is that Spirit is wanting you to know. I am still running a special on my reading, so if you're interested in one, the information will be in the description box below, okay? All right, you guys. So I feel like, Scorpio, it's been a rough road for you, okay? And I'm talking about from the damn beginning all the way to the end, like, you're going to be like, Lord, like, when you finally get your freedom papers, your walking papers, you're like, Lord, Jesus, why did I have to go through all this, okay? I feel like a certain situation has been rough for you as well, and I feel like even though you don't want to admit that shit has been rough or been hard, you know, I feel like there's a time for you to make a decision. You must decide whether it's worth to keep doing all this shit that you've been doing, I feel like a lot of you guys have been wearing multiple hats. You've been trying to do this. You've been trying to do that. You've been trying to be four or five different people at one time. You know, and that shit been hard. But, you know, Scorpio, you know, we tough as fuck. We tough as nails. You know, and no matter what we go through, we just going to keep on fighting a battle. But I feel like there is a time in your life right now that, you know, spirit is really putting some, some, some things in perspective, putting some things on your heart. And it's having you, it's really making you decide, like, are you going to keep on doing this shit? Like, is it really worth all the shit that you're going through? Or are you going to choose yourself first? You know what I'm saying? Because you don't have to continuously put yourself through this rocky road. Yeah, sometimes we are dealt some effed up cards. But at the end of the day, you know, we do have a choice in that, especially if it's a situation that we don't necessarily have to be involved in. You know what I'm saying? I feel like for some of you guys, you... You feel this ending. You feel there's a shift. You feel things are changing in your life. You know, but you can be scared. You know, you, you're ready to have a fresh start. You're ready to do something new. You're ready to do this. You're ready to do that. But, you know, change can be different, can be difficult, can be scary sometimes. So I feel like some of you are, are, are not pretending. I mean, some of you are pretending like, you know, you don't see that things are, are ending. You don't feel like. What am I trying to say? I feel like some of you guys are just trying to bear it, but it's like shit just done got too rough is what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? And you still trying to push forward. And it's like it's like the more you push, spirit steady, you just stacking stuff on you. Like, shit, when you going to get it, Scorpio, and you, you steady going and going. So it's like, you know, something has to end. I feel like spirit is basically trying to force you to end some shit in your life so that you can be the one. To have a fresh start. You didn't really like this skeleton. You dead on the inside, Scorpio. You done gave and gave and gave. And you was just dried the fuck up. You see what I'm saying? And it's been rocky. It's been rough. And you know we tough as nails, like I stated. But that shit don't have to be like this. Sometimes we make shit hard on our own damn self, okay? See, it's like some of you guys, you're always the one to pick up the pieces. You see all these scattered pieces? Like everybody all scattered all over the damn place. And they look for you. To hold these pieces together, to be the glue to hold these pieces together. But Scorpio, it's time for you to be the glue to hold your own goddamn self together, okay? See, that's our problem sometimes. We want to be Captain Save a Hole and we want to fix everybody damn else problems. But then we don't even take the time to fix our own damn problems. We don't even take the time to acknowledge this shit. We even got a damn problem here, okay? Now it's time for you. And I feel like for some of you guys as well, you know, like I said, we always want to be Captain Save a Ho and want to fix people. We want to find people that's all jumbled up in pieces. They ain't got this. They ain't got that. They got a piece of this, a piece of that. Now it's time for you, Scorpio, to stop finding these pieces of a man and pieces of a woman and look for the motherfucker that's the whole damn package, okay? Look for somebody that can give you everything that you want but what you deserve. Scorpio, sometimes we just only act like we deserve good things in life, a good man, a good woman. You know, we say that shit, but then, you know, how we treat and, and, and how we treat ourselves and how we'll, you know, have poor pickings when it comes to people, you know, we ain't got to be Captain Save a Ho no more. 
In this next era in our life, Scorpio, we is not going to be no more Captain Save a Ho. We're going to leave them hoes to say they own goddamn selves, okay? And that's anybody I'm talking about. Family, friends, whoever, because you got to save yourself. When you going to stop saving everybody else, Scorpio, and take that same energy and save your own self here, okay? All right, so I ain't mean to preach it. I'm just saying I just I just felt that energy of like, because I get it. You know, we just keep going and going, but at some point in time, you got to put that shit back in yourself, okay? Whew, okay. So someone here want to have a nice dinner with you, Scorpio, and then they want to, you know, do some little freaky shit afterwards. <laughs> They saying let's go out to eat. You know, somebody want to take you to your f favorite restaurant, whatever that may be. You know, do it big or whatnot. And then they're going to go home and do some things for you. Now, for some of you, this could be the same person who want to go have this nice dinner. It could be someone who feels like you guys, maybe you're in a relationship with someone. Maybe this person feels like this is kind of me in a relationship or, you know, this this relationship in a roller coaster ride. And somebody is. You know, maybe someone here feel like they should call a quiz, you know, or for some of you, maybe someone here is going to call a quiz with somebody else, you know, and then they want to take you out. Y'all take it how it resonates. You could be in a relationship here. If you're not in a relationship on this roller coaster ride, then someone here can want to take you out to dinner, okay? Now, someone here realizes that you feel their life with hope. Someone here didn't feel like they had a lot of hope for their future. And they're proud to have you by their side, okay? So you could be dealing with someone now, Scorpio. Some of you guys, hey, maybe the relationship ain't doing too well. Some of you, the relationship is, okay? But someone here feels like they didn't have a lot of hope in their life. Like, you were kind of like this ray of, of sunshine in someone's dark-ass life, you know? And they like, damn, with you now, Scorpio, I got a future. I feel like I can really do some shit with my life. And you got somebody from your past that shit, they sense. That you've moved on or somebody else is in your energy. And they like, shit, it'll break their heart to know that you're dealing with somebody else. For some of you, you don't pull your energy back. Like, you cut that cord, you know, or you you distance yourself so far from someone to, like, they can feel. They know. Like, you and this person, y'all got a deep-ass connection. So this person know they feel that energy that, you know, that you are all the way out, you know? And so they know it got to be someone else. And this person saying they'll break their heart to see you be with somebody else. Some of you, like I said, this could be new energy. You could be dealing with someone new. For some of you, there could be someone in your energy. Maybe they're in a relationship or something. And they, they tired of that roller coaster ride. You know, and they want to call it quits. Y'all take this how it resonates. Now, someone want to travel the world with you and create wonderful memories. Okay, so this is giving me lots of new energy here. But somebody want to know, are you up for the adventure? You want to travel the world with me, Scorpio? You want to go, you know, see all the places we can see? You and this person made us talk about, you know, some places that y'all want to travel together or see the world, you know. Some of you may have not been able to, you know, had a chance to travel and do a lot, you know, as a child or even as an adult. So, you know, you like to when you get your money right, you want to go travel. You want to see the world. You want to see what the world and life has to offer you, okay? Now, someone your energy has realized that this time apart from you has given them the opportunity to pause and reflect on the, the mistakes that they've made, okay? So, someone here may have not. Someone here may have had a hard time taking accountability in the past and maybe seeing what they did was wrong. But it's like now that they've been in separation from you, they realize, like, damn, okay, this is how I fucked up with Scorpio. And see, in the past, they may have not been able to see that, okay? And for some of you, this could be the same person, like I said, that could be in a relationship. Y'all take it how it resonates. If you're in a relationship now and you're tired of being on this roller coaster ride or whatnot, hey, it's time to get out. Or someone here, they they tired of being on this roller coaster ride. They they ready to get off with someone else here. But if you are separated from someone, like I'm telling you, a lot of times Scorpio people can't. You know how you just be trying to show people and prove people how good of a man or woman you are and how you wouldn't do them like this. A lot of people can't see shit when it's right there in their face. But as soon as you take your ass on, oh, then they can see everything. You know, everything is clear as day. To that person a lot of times that's why spirit you know comes that's why you always hear about walking away and leaving these people alone and cutting these ties because they're not gonna fucking get it why you in their energy it always takes you walking away for someone to realize they had a good thing nobody gonna realize they got a good thing if your ass still there but when you gone they realize that okay now, someone want to let you know, Scorpio, that sometimes they stay away just thinking about you, thinking about you, thinking about the future, 
thinking about the past, thinking about what's going on in their life now, just thinking about you and what you're doing and I don't know, all the mistakes they made with you, man. Like, that's the energy I'm getting. Like, someone here, man, like, they made me damn near sad and depressed. <laughs> just, you know, like, someone here is just like, they be like, like, man, you know, like, someone here feels like they here for what you big time. And for some of you, it was a, a particular day. Something happened between you and this person. It could have been a conversation, a disagreement, you know, something was brought to light. But someone here remember every day. Maybe you said something very specific to this person, but they remember every detail of a day. This could be you. Because y'all know Scorpio, we don't forget shit. We can tell you on July 5th, 1992 at 2.45 p.m. It was a sunny day at 10. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can tell you all the details of the day because that's how good our memory is, okay? We remember what the fuck we want to. But I'm, I remember everything. <laughs> But someone here remembers like every detail of a particular day. Like if you was to ask them about this shit, they can tell you every detail of that day right now. Do you hear me? And someone wanna let you know, Scorpio, this is sideways though. So someone here is unsure. You know, they ain't sure if you guys gonna be together again. Because something that you said in particular, shit, it might have happened. You might have, you know, prophesied something to someone. And they remember what you said. But I want to let you know, for some of you guys, there's going to be an unexpected outcome, okay? Now, for some of you, this person could have an unexpected outcome who's in a relationship or a marriage or something. Things may not go the way that they plan, or for some of you guys, there can be an unexpected outcome coming your way. What the outcome is that you and this person, this could be a long distance relationship. This could be a long ass highway, a body of water. You know what I'm saying? There could be different cities. Y'all live in different towns, states, countries, whatever it is. You and this person have a soul tie. You share a soul tie. This tie cannot be cut, okay? Someone here is saying, no matter the distance between me and you, Scorpio, I will always feel connected to you. And for some of you, this unexpected outcome that's going to happen is that you and this person are going to come into union. So this could be your energy. Maybe you ain't sure if you and this person is going to come back into union. But the unexpected outcome in Scorpio is you and this person will be reuniting, okay? And it feels so good. <laughs> okay? You and this person, Scorpio, will be reuniting. And for some of you, that's going to be unexpected because you ain't never expect to, to reunite with this person, period. Like, you feel like when you walked away, like, it was over with, done. There was a seal deal for me, so all that. But now, there's going to be an unexpected outcome. And what that unexpected outcome means is that you and this person will be reunited. 45 to 50. Someone who got a time ring. Someone who got a mustache. 40 to 45. Someone who has slanted eyes. And short wavy hair. All right, you guys. So let's get the signs. Let's see who Scorpio could be reuniting with. Mm. All right. Who is Scorpio going to be reuniting with Holy Spirit? All right, we got Libra, another Scorpio, Taurus, Sag. We got Taurus, Aries, Cancer, Leo. Libra, Heavy, Gemini, and Aries. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.